Kingman Reef is a largely submerged, uninhabited triangular-shaped reef, 9.5 nautical miles east-west and 5 nmi north-south, located in the North Pacific Ocean, roughly halfway between the Hawaiian Islands and American Samoa at 6 degrees 23 and 162 degrees 25 w. It is the northernmost of the Northern Line Islands and lies 36 nautical miles 67 km northwest of the next closest island Palmyra Atoll, and 930 nautical miles 1720 km south of Honolulu. The reef encloses a lagoon up to 270 feet 82 meters deep in its western part. The total area within the outer rim of the reef is 29 square miles 75 square kilometers. There are two small strips of dry land composed of coral rubble and giant clamshells on the eastern rim with areas of 2 and 1 acre 8100 and 4000 square meters having a coastline of 2 miles 3 kilometers. The highest point on the reef is less than 5 feet 1.5 meters above sea level which is wetted or awash most of the time making Kingman Reef a maritime hazard. It has no natural resources and supports no economic activity. Topic. Political status Kingman Reef has the status of an unincorporated territory of the United States, administered from Washington, D.C. by the U.S. Department of Interior. The atoll is closed to the public. For statistical purposes, Kingman Reef is grouped as part of the United States Minor Outlying Islands. In January 2009, Kingman Reef was designated a Marine National Monument. The pre-20th century names Danger Reef, Kaldu Reef, Maria Shoal and Crane Shoal refer to this atoll, which by then was entirely submerged at high tide. Thomas Hale Streets described its state in the 1870s, when it had hardly, as yet, assumed the distinctive features of an island. It is entirely underwater at high tide, and but a few coral heads project here and there above the surface at low water. In the course of time, however, it will undoubtedly be added to the Northern Line Islands. History Kingman Reef was discovered by the American Captain Edmund Fanning of the ship Betsy on June 14, 1798. Captain W. E. Kingman whose name the island bears, described it on November 29, 1853. Kingman Reef was claimed in 1860 by the United States Guano Company, under the name, Danger Reef. This claim was made under by the Guano Islands Act of 1856, although there is no evidence that guano existed or was ever mined on Kingman Reef. Lauren A. Thurston formally annexed Kingman to the United States on May 10, 1922, by reading this declaration on shore. Be it known to all people, that on 10 May, A.D. 1922, the undersigned agent of the island of Palmyra Copra Co., Ltd., landed from the motorship Palmyra Dith, on this 10th day of May, A.D. 1922, take formal possession of this island, called Kingman Reef, situated in longitude 162 degrees 18 feet west and 6 degrees 23 feet north, on behalf of the United States of America and claim the same for said company. On December 29, 1934, the U.S. Navy assumed jurisdiction over Kingman Reef. The lagoon was used in 1937 and 1938 as a halfway station between Hawaii and American Samoa by Pan American Airways flying boats Sikorsky S-42B. Pan Am wanted to expand flights into the Pacific and include Australia and New Zealand to their Clipper air routes. In 1935 it was decided that the lagoon at Kingman Reef was suitable for overnight stops en route from the U.S. to New Zealand via Samoa. Kingman Reef became the stopover to and from Pago Pago, American Samoa, located 1,600 miles 2, further south. A supply ship, the North Wind, was stationed at Kingman Reef to provide fuel, lodging, and meals. The S-42B Pan American Clipper II, piloted by Captain Edwin Musick, landed at Kingman on its first flight on March 23, 1937. Several successful flights followed, but the flight on January 11, 1938 ended in tragedy. Shortly after the early morning takeoff from Pago Pago, bound for New Zealand, the Clipper exploded. The right outboard engine had developed an oil leak and the plane burst into flames while dumping fuel, there were no survivors. As a result of the tragedy, Pan Am ended flights to New Zealand via Kingman Reef and Pago Pago. 
A new route was established in July 1940 by way of Canton Island and New Caledonia. On February 14, 1941, President Franklin Roosevelt issued Executive Order 8682 to create naval defenses areas in the Central Pacific Territories. The proclamation established, "...Kingman Reef Naval Defensive Sea Area," which encompassed the territorial waters between the extreme high water marks and the three-mile marine boundaries surrounding the atoll. Kingman Naval Airspace Reservation was also established to restrict access to the airspace over the Naval Defense Sea Area. Only U.S. government ships and aircraft were permitted to enter the Naval Defense Areas at Kingman Reef unless authorized by the Secretary of the Navy. Ecology <inaudible> 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 Kingman Reef supports a vast variety of marine life. Giant clams are abundant in the shallows, and there are approximately 38 genera and 130 species of stony corals present on the reef. This is more than three times the species diversity of corals found in the main Hawaiian islands. The ecosystem of the reef and its subsequent food chain are known for the distinct quality of being primarily predator-based. Sharks comprised 74% of the top predator biomass 329 grams M2 at Kingman Reef and 57% at Palmyra Atoll 97 grams M2. .Low shark numbers have been observed at Tabuaran and Kuritimati. The percentage of the total fish biomass on the reef is made up of 85% apex predators, creating a high level of competition for food and nutrients among local organisms—particularly sharks, jacks, and other carnivores. The threatened green sea turtles that frequent nearby Palmyra Atoll travel to Kingman Reef to forage and bask on the coral rubble spits at low tide. However, above sea level, the reef is usually barren of macroorganisms. Mainly constructed of dead and dried coral skeletons, providing only calcite as a source of nutrients, the small and narrow strips of dry land are only habitable by a handful of species for short periods of time. Most flora which begin to grow above water, primarily coconut palms, die out quickly due to the fierce tides and lack of resources necessary to sustain plant life. <laughs> <laughs> National Wildlife Refuge On September 1, 2000, the Navy relinquished its control over Kingman Reef to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. On January 18, 2001 Secretary of the Interior Bruce Babbitt created the Kingman Reef National Wildlife Refuge during his final days in office with Secretary's Order 3223. It is composed of the emergent coral rubble spits and all waters out to 12 nautical miles 22 kilometers. While there are only three acres .012 square kilometers of land, 483,754 acres 1957.68 square kilometers of water area is included in the refuge, along with six other islands, the reef was administered as part of the Pacific Remote Islands National Wildlife Refuge Complex. In January 2009, that entity was upgraded to the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument by President George W. Bush. Amateur radio expeditions Since the early 1940s, Kingman Reef has had very little human contact, though amateur radio operators from around the world have occasionally visited the reef to put it on the air in what is known as a de-expedition. In 1974, a group of amateurs using the callsign KP6KR sailed to the reef and set up a temporary radio station and antenna. Other groups visited the island in subsequent years, including 1977, 1980, 1981, 1988 and 1993. Most recently, a group of 15 amateur radio operators from the Palmyra DX group visited the reef in October 2000. Using the FCC-issued special event callsign K5K, the group made more than 80,000 individual contacts with amateurs around the world over a period of 10 days, between November 15, 1945, and March 28, 2016. Kingman Reef was considered a discrete entity for the purpose of earning awards such as the DX Century Club. 
A video shot by amateur radio operators traveling to the K-5 PD expedition on Palmyra in January 2016 appears to show Kingman Reef mostly awash, raising questions as to whether a future activation of Kingman Reef would be possible. On March 28, 2016, the ARRL DXCC desk deleted Kingman Reef from the list of collectible entities effective March 29, 2016, and deeming Kingman a part of the Palmyra and Jarvis entity due to proximity of the islands and common administration of the islands by the Fish and Wildlife Service. Topic. See also. List of Guano Island claims. List of reefs. Topic. References. Topic. External links. Wikimedia Atlas of Kingman Reef Kingman Reef National Wildlife Refuge K5K Amateur Radio Expedition to Kingman Reef Kennedy Warren, An Uneasy Eden. National Geographic Magazine, July 2008